line uh, that talks, of, uh, uh, it was written by someone who's a current staffer uh, for one of the Supreme Court justices. And this, I'll just describe the report to you that I read, and you can make of it what you will. Um, he said that the justices, as they always do, went into a closed room to discuss you know, cases they're taking or do debate. There's no phones, no computers, no nothing. No one else is in the room except for the nine justices. It's typically very civil. Um, they usually don't hear any sound. They just debate what they're doing. But when the Texas case was brought up, he said he heard screaming through the walls as Justice Roberts and the other liberal justices were insisting that this case not be taken up. Um, and the reason, the, the words that were heard through the wall um, when Justice Thomas and Justice Alito were citing uh, Bush versus Gore from John Roberts were, I don't give up about that case. I don't want to hear about it. At that time, we didn't have riots. So what he was saying was that he was afraid of what would happen if they did the right thing. And I'm sorry, but that is moral cowardice. And, and we in the SREC, I'm an SREC member, we put those words in very specifically because the charge of the Supreme Court is to ultimately be our final arbitrator, our final line of defense for right and wrong. And they did not do their duty. So I think we should leave these words in because I want to send a strong message to them. Thank you. Is there any other discussion on the amendment to the motion?